All right, so I just got off the phone with my buddy in Tel Aviv that's hiding in a bunker with his family. And I promised him, hey, listen, I'm going to go live and call everybody that I know to, to pray for Israel. Obviously, we have all seen today uh, the attack that took place from Iran. Never before in history have we seen anything like this. And I think it's very easy for us as Americans to just scroll to the next thing. You know, it's easy for us to just scroll. Oh, it's another war. It's another attack. It's another. No, no. This is biblical. Like this is what we're seeing right now is biblical prophecy that's unfolding before us at the present moment. I'm speaking to Instagram and Facebook both at the same time. And so we just had a YouTube prayer session with my buddy in a bunker in Tel Aviv. You can watch it on YouTube. And he was giving us an update, you know, what it was. As rockets were being sent from Iran overhead. Guys, this is a crazy time that we live in. And I think it's so important for us as believers, as, as people of faith, as Americans to know what's happening in this hour in which we live. We can't afford to be asleep and we can't afford to be indoctrinated by the media. We have to be awake. We have to be alive. I want to read this to you and then I want to pray a quick prayer. And my heart is, is that you would share this. I don't hear enough faith leaders around the world, especially younger ones, sharing God's importance of Israel. Why are the nations raging against this tiny little piece of land? Because it carries such great biblical prophetic significance for our lives for biblical proportions i mean we are living in a day and age and today guys you'll never forget this moment i've, I've heard i'll never forget i heard since i was a little kid iran's gonna talk to israel it happened for 20 30 years today it happened and it didn't just happen through hezbollah or hamas or proxies they sent rockets from the nation of Iran, a nation that says that Israel should never have the right to exist, that every Jew should be blotted off the face of the earth. That nation sent rockets, ignored the president. You know, Biden yesterday said, don't do it. They don't care. Just like Russia didn't care. Nobody's listening to him. There's no strength right now in American leadership. And it also brings us to this place of crisis. But here's what we can do. We can pray, okay? Don't feel helpless. And this is my heart. Please, please hear my heart. My heart is not, don't get all wrapped up. And I mean, I, I was at my daughter's soccer game today. You know, I was talking to my friend Yair just a minute ago. He's in a bunker with his family. I'm at my daughter's soccer game, you know, watching her score a goal and watching her team win. He's hiding for his life. You know, it doesn't mean we have to get wrapped up in fear, but listen, we gotta be people that pray, man. At the very least, maybe we can't sign up for the army. Maybe we can't help them in a physical manner, but we can pray. And just like Yair said, which I wanna reiterate, he said, Sean, and this is what he was saying in his bunker. He said, this is a spiritual war. Tell Americans, this is a spiritual war. And a lot of people are saying, well, they provoked it. No, they took out a few commanders that were plotting to an attack on Israel is what happened. They took them out in, a Syrian, in, 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 in Syrian territory that was planning to attack Israel just like any other nation would and to have thousands of rockets. He actually said, Sean, it says on the news there was 200. He said there were thousands of rockets. Now, the silver lining is nobody could understand or even estimate the fact that Saudi Arabia, Jordan, and a host of other countries came to the defense of Israel. That is also very historic. We've never seen anything like that. So the fact that we have Saudi Arabia, the fact that we have Jordan, the fact that we have the UK, France, the US, all these nations coming to the aid of Israel, this is very historic. And yes, we're on the very edge of World War, World War III, but listen, our role as Americans, as Christians, as people of God is to pray. This is what we all can do. 
we all can pray. So let the fear come off of you and let the indifference come off of you. Don't be indifferent. This is not an hour to be indifferent. This is not an hour to believe that what's, cons- what's happening thousands of miles in the, in, the, in the Middle East has nothing to do with you. No, it actually has everything to do with you. And so I wanna pray this prayer, Psalm 122, and then we're gonna sing a little bit, all right? And I know it's probably gonna sound horrible on a live stream and my voice hurts from screaming at my, my son's baseball games and daughter's soccer games, but we're gonna sing a little bit and we're gonna worship. Psalm 122, it says, I rejoice with those who said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Our feet are standing in your gates, Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built like a city that is closely compacted together. That is where the tribes grow up, the tribes of the Lord, to praise the name of the Lord according to the statute given to Israel. There stand the thrones for judgment, the thrones for the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. This is what's wild about what happened today. They were sending rockets into the center of the old city of Jerusalem, a place where Christians live, where Muslims live. Uh, I mean, it's, it's insane. We've never seen this. Usually when they attack Israel, they attack, you know, other, other parts of it. Never the capital city, never the old city of Jerusalem. I mean, these, these rockets, I posted a video about it. They were being set over the Iron Dome. I mean, if one of those had fallen, I mean, it's, it's crazy. So it says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you be secure and security within your citadels. For the sake of my family and friends, I will say peace within you. For the sake of the house of the Lord, our God, I will seek your prosperity. So listen, just join me right now on Instagram, on Facebook. Let's just pray. Come on, lift your voice. Just take a minute here. God, we ask you right now, Lord, this command, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Lord, we ask right now for peace and safety to come over that city. Lord, we pray right now in the midst of a horrific attack that we've never seen in history before. Lord, we pray, God, that you would raise up allies across the region, God, whether it's Saudi Arabia or Jordan or Egypt or or your uh, countries in Europe. Lord, raise up the allies of Israel that are gonna stand with that nation, bring defense, bring safety, and bring security. Lord, we pray for the millions of Christians in Iran. There's millions of Christians in the nation of Iran. There's Christians all over that region. We pray for their safety. We pray for their security. Lord, we pray, God, that you would show up to them in a time of war, in a time of devastation, in a time, Lord, where the nations are raging. We pray for the believers across the Middle East. God, we have a team, a base in Iraq right now where the missiles went right over. God, we have a base in Iraq with believers that love you. Lord, we pray for safety and security for Iraq, for Iran, for uh, believers in Syria, God, for, for the many millions of Christians across the region, God. Use them in this hour of darkness and war, God. We pray somehow, some way, that the light of Jesus would shine bright in the darkest hour. Lord, we resist the fear. We resist the indifference. Lord, we resist the fact that this has nothing to do with us. Lord, we say, no, it's happening on our watch. It's happening over a nation that you love. This has everything to do with us. And we, as the people of God, will commit today to pray. We're not gonna just turn the channel. We're not gonna just scroll to the next story. We're not gonna just be obsessed with things that don't matter, God. We want eternal perspective for eternal matters. And Lord, I just thank you, God, that we get to be alive. I know these are crazy days. These are crazy days and I'm at my kid's soccer game and my friend across the world is hiding in a bunker with his kids in a bomb shelter. Lord, these are crazy days, but Lord, I pray that this would be the hour where you use your church to rise up and become the light and become the truth. Lord, and we pray for our nation, the nation of America with with such fractured leadership and such a divided political mess, God. Right every wrong, make every crooked path straight. Lord, raise up leadership, God, that will lead the way through this, this, this season of nonstop wars, God. We want peace, we want safety, we want security. And so we bless you, Jesus. We bless the nation of Israel, God. We bless the Middle East, God. We bless the believers, Lord, all over the region, in Iran, in Iraq, in Syria, in Yemen, in Turkey. I've met them. I know them. They love you. Lord, we just pray for their safety. 
tonight, God, as war rages on, Lord, raise them up to be the light. And may many turn to you. May many turn to you, Father. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. As smoke is blown away. Lift up your eyes to the hills of salvation. Where does my help come from? Let God arise. Lord, we say arise, arise in your power, arise in your might, arise in your strength. Wake up your church. Lord, we pray all over the world tomorrow, God, as people are gathering for church, Lord, stir them up to pray over the nation of Israel. Stir them up to pray over the Middle East. Let us not be people, Lord, that choose, choose to be indifferent. Let us be people that are engaged with the story that you're writing. Bless my friends in Israel. Bless my friends in Iraq. Bless my friends, God, all over the Middle East, Lord, we pray. Safety, security, Lord, and we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Come on, just lift your voice for a minute here. I don't care. It's, it's live. Just lift your voice wherever you are around the world. Let's just have a virtual prayer meeting. Why not? Let's just have a virtual prayer meeting. Come on. Come on, let God arise. Let him arise. Let him arise in the midst of this crazy hour. Let him arise in the midst of the shaking. Reveal in your people a kingdom that will not be shaken. And God of Israel, God of Israel, God of Israel, blessed be your name. God of Israel, God of Israel, God of Israel, blessed be your name. God of Israel, God of Israel, God of Israel, blessed be your name. Thank you guys for joining. Thank you for praying. Don't forget our friends over there. Don't forget the nation of Israel. Pray for America too. We, we need a move of God. These hours that we're in right now of darkness and shaking. I mean, this is, it's just going to get crazier. Buckle up, man. 2024. We need Jesus. We need revival. Thank you for joining me. God bless you guys. More to come soon. I'll share with you that YouTube clip that I just had with my friend. We were live. I'm here in California. He was in a bunker in Israel. It was powerful. I'll share it with you now. God bless. Facebook. You guys are awesome. Have a great night. Stay tuned.